Hi, um, we'll get to the speed paint part real quick, but um, I just wanted to say this was a huge adventure and um, for me, and I actually filmed a lot of footage for this project, and I was planning on releasing a video um, um, about how I went through all my choices in making this deck of playing cards. I assume you read the title. Um, yeah, but it was, by the time I finished editing it, it was like over an hour long. So I would probably, it would probably be in parts, but I'm not sure if um, anybody wants to see that because it's really, really long. And sometimes um, I, I don't know if my audience is ready for that because it, usually it's just speed paint and yeah um so if you want to see that mm, just leave a comment down below and like this video so that i know you would like to see that and then i i might post it but um for now this video is a compilation of um a few of the speed paints um of the cards and i'll save some in case i wanted to release it with that video or just for future um videos if i don't have anything to post <laughs> But um, I'll still leave um, a couple of video clips in there that I feel important. Um, it will be at the end of the video, so if you want to see that, you could um, stay after the speed paints. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video, and let's get on with the speed paints. Hey guys, happy New Year! Um, I'm. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday last month. If not, I'm so sorry to hear that. Anyway, um, today's video is gonna be so, so different. Not really different, but it's a new thing for me to try. And I'm so happy to be sharing it with you guys. Um, it's, it's been a whole journey for me. Um, so let me start from the beginning while you watch this speed paint of Emma. Um, so it was in November where I had this idea to design a deck of playing cards of StarKid characters, but there are so many StarKid characters and I didn't know which one um, to choose. There are many, many musicals and there are many characters that they have done. And so I wanted to narrow it down and so I decided to make a deck of Hatchet Field characters playing cards. And then I started tallying up um what what I'm working with because there are uh, plenty of catch it field characters and I've decided that I would be doing the guy who makes musicals and Black Friday characters. I had a whole spreadsheet, I started drafting everything and then um, I realized I have short of two or maybe three characters because there are only like 50 um, original characters in um, these two musicals, but I don't want it to include any like Nightmare Time music uh, characters because it would it would be off balance because it would be more. But anyway, so it was a tough time deciding which character to include, but it was it was so worth it. I have um, uh, fifty four characters plus I made um, Nick Lang and Matt Lang as jokers, so that was fun, um, and I also included, actually, I also included, a uh, Peanuts, and also Diane, um, yeah, I have made, uh, you, if you want to see more of my cards, um, you could go to Instagram, but, um, I, I, I will not be selling it, because, um, I, I don't feel comfortable, um, selling Starkit, um, merch, which is not, theirs I, I don't know it, it's still a, a little weird but if StarKid wants to like collaborate with me and and sell them I, I'm very happy to do so anyway um I the purpose of making this cards is because um I wanted to gift it to my sister who also also is a huge fan of the Hatchet Field series of StarKid and I wanted to give it to her as her birthday gift. And her birthday was on um, Christmas. So I started working on like November 20th. And I started drawing a, a card. I Well, I tried drawing a card every single day so that I could keep up with um, the deadline of Christmas Day. And also I have to manufacture it. So I had to um, race with the time. But anyway, it took me 20 days to... 
um, finish the whole deck of 54 original cards. Not, not, not one of them is the same. So that was, that was pretty unique. Um, and it, it was very hectic and I felt burned out after it. But honestly, it's so worth it when I saw the cards come in. Um, I will leave a couple of clips in the end. Um, of how my sister reacted and the, my reaction when I first received it because it was it was truly magical I can't believe I made it and it's in my hands and it's it's just so amazing to have something made like that and yeah it, it felt like I've accomplished something and I'm I'm so happy with it um so yeah basically I have I if you've been watching the speed paints you would notice that um I put the shape of the 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 clubs um spades hearts and diamonds in the background so to give them a little bit of uniqueness because um yeah and i have to calculate it i have a whole spreadsheet that i would just like ca categorize characters into like different um suits of four and so um uh, that was that was a little confusing for me at first, but I figured it out. Anyway, um, I also uh, took out four very, very special characters to be the kings. As you can see here, uh, General McNamara. Uh, General McNamara. <laughs> Sorry, I can't English today. Um, General McNamara, Professor Higgins, um, Wiggly, and Lex. Those four characters that are so... Um, that are sort of like the important characters so I isolated them out and made them into kings so I uh if you could see the difference um the other normal characters would have a full illustration um a smaller one though in um in the center with the with the shape behind it but for those four characters I put them into um a full full fleshed out um care um how do you say it full fleshed out illustration but half bodies so it it's it's like one of those pokemon cards where um you know this the special ones where it's it like the illustration of the pokemon is full blown on the card instead of just a tiny little square so i kind of want to like um make that into that I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, it 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 looks super cool when it came out, and I am really happy with it. Even though there are plenty flaws, and I feel like some of the characters um needs a little bit more time because most of these illustrations I drawn them um when I was like like two a.m. I don't know because it, it was it was hectic. It was. It was so I was so busy at that time. I have classes, I have finals, and I am still doing this. And I can't believe I pulled it through. <laughs> and yeah, I if I am doing this again, I probably would redesign some of um the characters like um like Paul and Ted. I mean, they're fine. I I like them, but it's just I I probably would redesign some of these because. I don't really like them. Not not like them, but like, I don't know if you know what I mean. Cause it's been like a whole two months since um I first started this project. So, uh, there are some that I, um, I would like to improve, of course. But anyway, getting back on track. Um, yeah, I finished it on the on December twentieth. Wait, no, December. 12 i think i'm not sure i have to look back at my footage but yeah i i finished it in 20 days and i sent it to the manufacturer unfortunately um they wouldn't they didn't arrive on time for me to give it to my sister for her birthday on her birthday so um i had to wait until so yeah so basically i went went on holiday and so i couldn't get it when it arrived um in my in the mail so i waited until after my trip um and then i gave it to her on um december 30th i think anyway yeah and she absolutely loves it and i am so happy she loved it she is still carrying it around like it was um something really really special to her and i'm i'm just so glad oh by the way i got a new microphone which i'm using right now to do this voiceover 
um yeah <laughs> i i don't know i'm i'm i really love singing so i i got this microphone because i want to do more singing and stuff but anyway um <laughs> i i'm going i'm getting off topic um this is sniggle snigglet of you know angela um yeah i have a few more of these speed paints um but i just tuck them away cuz it would be made it would make this um video extra long and i i don't know if you want to watch that oh speaking of vid videos um i have i recorded my my whole journey um in making these cards but after i finished editing it it's like an hour so i don't know if you want to sit through that so <laughs> i didn't i didn't i didn't upload it here um yeah i i don't know it's it, it's kind of boring but I find it very interesting that I I went through all my choices and my um thought process of it. But yeah, if you want to see that, please comment down below and I'll see if enough people want it and maybe I'll post it. I don't know. I I still am like editing that, so uh we'll see when it's done <laughs> if if I could shorten it. But um we'll see. Just tell me if you want it. And yeah, um, I think we're reaching to the end of the video. I'm I'm not sure how long this video is because as I'm watching back right now, I see some changes that needs to be done, like some parts that are a little bit too long, or maybe some parts that I could cut. Um, yeah. Anyway, the last speed paint, this last one, is the design of the back of the cards, which is just the Hatchet Field logo. But I just sort of kind of move things around a little bit i don't know it it looks so cool and i'm just so in love with it and um i wish i could i could sell it but i'm i just i don't know i i don't feel comfortable with it because these characters are not mine they're star kids and i i i don't want to be stealing stuff from star kids and yeah yeah anyway if you want to get this as like as like a, a real deck of cards maybe like tweet at starkit maybe ask them to collaborate with me i don't know wink wink <laughs> if i mean i'm i would love to collaborate with star kids it would be a dream and i'd love i would love to design merch for them but um alas it's not happening am i right or will it who knows um it's 2021 anything could happen and yeah um this is probably the end of the video i hope you like it i hope you enjoy it i hope you don't find this boring at all if you want to see more of my cards um it will be in my instagram so go check it out and while you're there follow me and i'll post more and stuff like that um yeah i hope you like this video um stick around for a few more clips of my reaction and my sister's reaction to the cards okay thank you bye It's here. Um, I've been away for a while, and it it had arrived um, while I was away on holiday, and so um, I finally got it today. And I'm so excited! I haven't opened it yet because I I don't know. I I kind of wanna. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous to open it. I. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. Okay, let's open this. Where's my box cutter? Here it is. Okay. Oh, I'm literally shaking. Okay. 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 I'm, uh, okay, I, I ordered two packs. So this is one of the packs and the other pack is in there. One for me, one for my sister, of course. Okay, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open one first. Are you ready? I'm not... I forgot I asked them to customize the can the, the box as well. It's, it's a little bent here. I think it's from um, delivery, but I'm not sure. But. If the other one is perfect, then this will be mine. Okay, okay, let's open it. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god. This looks amazing. It it looks a little I don't know if you could see it. Oh my god. Oh, the color is a little bit off, but I'm sure Oh my god, it's Hannah. It's out the whole deck oh my god oh my god i saw lex lex is literally on here i am this is this this quality is kind of nice actually it's it's a little bit smaller than normal playing cards i think but it's my whole like 20 days of work of hard work it's all in here I can't, I literally can't. I'm just, like, like I did this. I did this in, in 20 days. And this is Matt, this is the Joker card. Oh my God, oh my God. Look, it's, it's peanuts. Oh my God, this looks so good. <laughs> A little bigger than like the, the pictures are a little bigger than I expected cuz um I don't know cuz maybe maybe it was when I was drawing because some of these look smaller I don't know if you could see some of these look smaller and some of these look super big which is a little off which is probably when I was drawing it so it's not their fault it's just me <laughs> but oh my god i, I for for making a deck of playing cards a full deck of playing cards for the very first time this is better than i thought this is so much better than i thought and it's it's it exceeded my expectations i mean i can't i i just i can't believe it i did this Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at look at Sherman. Sherman Young. I don't know if, if the because this camera is facing me right now so I could see it, but I'm not sure if it will like flip it over so you could see it properly. But it's it's all so cute. It's also cute. Look at Emma. Look at Emma. I mean, I'm just uh, I can't. It's so cute. Okay. Um, I've just been sitting here looking through the cards and they all look so good and I'm really really happy of how it turned out and um, this, is, this is little Alice it's so cute um, but um, the thing is the kings that I intended that um, would be like full screen you know what I mean um, so these are the kings which are slightly different from the rest of the cards. Oops. It's like different from the rest of the cards. Um, they are um, a full illustration on the cards, unlike um, this, like like a, f a, a, a smaller version of it. And this is full out. And they are a different style as well. I don't know if you've noticed, but um, yeah, they are a little off, which I don't really like. Like you could see where it cut off. If I knew that would happen, I would have um, made it bigger. And this Lexus, Lexus better, cause um, it's only the bottom that got cut off. I mean, a lot of like this card also. No, this one is a little bit too low, and this one is a little bit too um, above, and so is this one. Wigglies and so is um, General McNamara's. So, I mean, I'm 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 still really happy how it turned out, and I'm just I I have, I'm speechless. Like I, I'm I'm really happy how it turned out, and I have no complaints except that for that little tiny nitpick. But yeah, it's just it's I can't believe it. Like almost a whole month of work. It's here, and 
it still feels unreal. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't know. I hope my sister likes it. I'll definitely film her reaction. But uh, yeah, I'm. I don't know. It it feels like I've done something. You know, I've I've accomplished something, and it it feels good. Um, actually, let me compare it to a normal deck of cards. So I have a deck of bicycles, which already feels different holding it here. It has a normal box, but it's it's fine. Whatever. Um, this is how it feels. It's it's a little bit more. I don't know, playing card like the texture, you know that that playing card texture anyway. But this is more smooth. This is a smooth playing card. It's just um it feels like just a, a plastic card. Not a plastic card. And uh, what what is that card? Um Uno cards, I think. It's more it's more plasticky this this card. And I think it's smaller. Look let's see. Oh, it's definitely um, thinner, but the height is, I think, is the same. So it's a lot thinner than a normal deck of playing cards, but I have no complaints. It's still really good, and I'm really happy how it turned out. Oh, it's much more thinner. Probably, that's probably why it's all fucked up, like the, the proportions and stuff. And because I... The measurements I use is based on this, so it's if it's a lot thinner, then yeah, that that's probably it. But oh well, it's it's good to know um what improvements to if improvements to make next time. But I, it feels good to to finish this. It's I don't know. I'm I'm so glad I get to share it with you, and I'm I'm I so can't wait for my sister to get it. Um, yeah, if, if you, I'll probably post some, I'll probably post some, um, pictures of these and you'll get to see more, but yeah, um, thank you so much for watching, I'll see